Hello everyone, my name is Ravi Shankar. In the last video, we have discussed about what, how to create stream. So, you can see in this slide, we have discussed already that how to create the stream by using stream parallel stream, arrays dot stream, stream off and uh, stream dot iterate and stream dot generate. So, basically we have seen how to create the stream by using all these four ways. In today's video, let us try to understand what are the operations we can perform on this stream. So, stream API operation. So, basically on the stream we can perform what two types of operation. One is intermediate operation, another one is terminal operation. So, intermediate and another one is what terminal operation. Now, what about this intermediate operation? Intermediate operation means what? It represents one pipeline. Suppose one uh, water flow in the pipe or the best example we can take what? Let us say we are talking about Sikandrabad railway station. So, Sikandrabad railway station means what? Now, whenever we are talking about Sikandrabad railway station, from Sikandrabad railway station, so many different different railway stations are connected. But few railway stations are what? Those are terminal railway station. Terminal railway station like Mumbai. Mumbai is a terminal railway station. Kolkata is a terminal railway station. So, intermediate operations means what? If you see this diagram. So, you can see here, here few methods are what? These filter and map, these are the methods of what? Our intermediate operations. So, basically your data will move through this pipeline. This is called what? Pipeline of stream. And while moving, when your data is moving through this pipeline, you can perform various operations for data processing. And definitely, here we have for each method. This for each method is what? It is representing the terminal operation. So, basically terminal operation means what? Terminal operation is a final operation through which we can what? We can take our data or we can what? We can get the final result. So, if I talk about this intermediate operation. So, it is not a final operation. It is a pipeline operation. Next, your intermediate operation will always produce a new stream. As I told you, like our Sikandrabad railway station. Sikandrabad railway station means what? It is always going to produce what? Another railway station. It is not a final destination. But if you talk about what? Chennai, if you talk about Kolkata, if you talk about Mumbai, these are the final railway stations. They are not going to produce any other stream or any other railway station. So, basically, intermediate operation, whatever the methods we will learn, all those methods will produce what? A new stream. So, it is very, very useful for method chaining concept. Now, moving next. One method will call another method. So, let us say if I just want to discuss a small thing. Suppose here what? Here we have a stream. Now, you know very well how to create a stream. All those four ways. On this stream, let us say I am calling one method ABC. What is this ABC? ABC is representing what? One intermediate method operation. Now, what this ABC will do? This ABC return type is what? This ABC return type is stream. So, this ABC return type is stream is what? Java dot util dot stream. Java dot util dot stream. So, that means on this ABC method whose return type is Java dot util dot stream, further we can call any other method of stream interface. So, let us say here I am trying to call one more method PQRS. This is called pipeline. Now, on this PQRS, now again this PQRS method return type is what? Java dot util dot stream. Again further, I can call any other method, let us say x, y, z. Like that, like that, I am calling so many method, but the last method, the last method must be what? It is a terminal operation. Why? Here we are going to close our stream. And once we are stream is going to close, then we are getting the output. So, this is called pipeline operation. So, one method will call what? Another method. Lazy evaluation. Lazy evaluation means what? If we are not calling the terminal methods, we are not getting the output. Only the operations are going to perform in the pipeline. Original data will remain unchanged. So, your stream data from where the source is coming, that data will remain what? Unchanged. Only you are performing the data or you are performing the operation on the what? The data which is available in the pipeline. Now, if I talk about intermediate operation methods, so what are the methods present in this intermediate operation? So, total we will learn 11 methods. Please concentrate here. So, intermediate methods. 
all these methods return type is stream total 11 methods are there all these methods will produce what a new stream and further we can perform what multiple operations on that particular stream so first method let us say first method is what filter public you know method return type is stream name of the method is what filter this filter is taking predicate as a parameter okay next method public stream this is common all the 11 methods return type is what stream next method is what map it is taking function as a parameter function t comma r one input one output mapper number three flat map now flat map is also taking function t comma r but here please remember this r must be what stream type here also it is mapper number 4 distinct to remove duplicates number 5 sorted if you want to perform any sorting operation we can use sorted sorted is having one overloaded version which is taking comparator number 7 limit long max size skip long x it is taking as a parameter number 9 is what pick it is taking consumer number 10 number 10 and number 11 both methods came from java 9 version one is what drop while first let us say take while it is taking predicate and another one is what drop while total we have 11 methods all these 11 methods representing what it is representing intermediate operations